Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the show that never ends. My name is Rod, and I hope y'all are doing well. It's early in the morning. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning while I'm filming this. I'm not used to being up this early. Um, since I was up, I decided to jump on a contest for Robert's on my turntable. Robert's on my turntable was holding a contest called Keeping the Beat. He wants us to show three to five of our favorite drummers and kind of explain why they're all favorites. That they're, you know, why we like them. Um, at six, I'm going to do a little more than five. I'm sure he doesn't mind. I thought this was a gatefold. The Black Keys, Patrick Carney. Um, the Black Keys, as you know, it's only a two-piece band, a guitar player and a drummer. So the drummer is working extra hard to keep the beat. There's no bass player. Um, the Black Keys came out in the 2000s, kind of like um, just a hard rock and blues band. I've heard some people say they're like the second wave of grunge, which I, I, I don't understand that, but um, maybe. The Black Keys, Patrick Kearney. Wonderful drummer, dude. Plays very loud, um, very fast drummer. Puts everything into it. Um, also, I want to show Meg White, who's a very laid-back drummer. She doesn't have the big drum kit. Um, she's not over the top. There are no long, out, long, drawing out drum solos. Meg White from the White Stripes. Kind of like a Charlie Watts type of drummer. Um, very chilled, very laid back, but uh, she's got rhythm, and she's fantastic. Meg White. Art Blakely. Uh, just a wonderful jazz drummer. Uh, just played with such finesse. Um, I highly recommend this album. If you're into jazz at all, this Blue Note... Um, Tone Poet series album is wonderful. Art Blakely, absolutely class. Just such a great drummer. Um, yeah, he was just all over the place, man. Also, Buddy Miles from the Jimi Hendrix Experience. You can see him chilling back there. He was a founding member of Electric Flag, along with Mike Bloomfield, the blues rock band of the 60s. Um, played with Band of Gypsies. Um, really underrated, I think, as a rock and roll drummer. You don't hear him mentioned a lot, um, but he was phenomenal. And here's a little tiny trivia question. I'm giving you the answer, though, so it's not much of a question. The old California raisin commercial from the 80s, if you were alive in the 80s, if you remember the claymation commercial for California raisins, where the little raisins came out with a saxophone and a guitar, and they sang, heard it through the grapevine, Buddy Miles was actually doing lead vocals on that commercial. So, very talented man. We lost him in 2008. Phenomenal drummer. Next one I'm showing is two drummers. It's Mickey and Bill from the Grateful Dead. Most people know the Grateful Dead sported two drummers. They played off each other really well. Um, they were phenomenal get together. I'm showing Shakedown Street because I love the drum beat in that song. It's just she really showcases their drumming. Um, also on their live albums, on their tours when they did shows, which was all the time because they toured and toured and toured, they had a song called Drums, and a lot of people used it as their bathroom break because it was anywhere between 8 and 15 minutes long of just the two drummers going back and forth. The rest of the band would leave the stage, and the two drummers would have at it. Mickey would get up and start playing the Tom Toms or Bongos and... It was just an incredible showcasing of drumming. So Mickey and Bill from the Grateful Dead. And at number one, 
a guy we lost recently, uh, very sad. But the guy lived a very full and rich life. And of course, I'm talking about Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones. This is a bootleg, but it shows some fantastic drumming from Charlie Watts on this. The sound quality is not great, but the drumming is amazing on that album. And also from uh, Some Girls, the song Miss You. It's kind of a disco song. But his drumming on that is just amazing to me. I love Charlie Watts. He was very laid back, just kind of a chill dude, just keeping the beat. Nothing fancy, nothing over the top, um, but a phenomenal drummer. And what was that, like six or seven drummers? We we're only supposed to do three to five, but Robert's a laid back guy. I'm sure he won't care. And if you're not familiar with Robert's channel, please check him out. It's called Robert's on My Turntable. He has a wonderful, wonderful channel, um, very laid back, kind of like you're just hanging out with him when you're watching his videos. He shows some great stuff and uh, support other VC channels and be kind to yourself and be kind to somebody else today. Peace.